Hello and welcome to this week's Live Local and Loud with me, Kevin Gorn. On this week's show, I shall be chatting to young local ethical rapper himself, Gorilla Nature. And also we'll be playing lots of homegrown tunes by local bands. Hello, I hope you're all well and are having a great week. Sadly, this is going to be the last show on Hermitage FM. As you may or may not know, Hermitage FM is closing down. Um, So the show's going with it, although uh, there's every chance I might, uh, Live Local and Loud might appear at another radio station near you at some time in the future. Who knows? If you want to, uh, if you are interested and you'd like to keep tabs on what's going on with Live Local and Loud, check out our Facebook page. It's Live Local Loud One. Give that a nifty little like, and uh, yeah, then we'll keep you in touch with um, whatever's going on in the future. Whether we go to a new station or do something different instead. Okay, so meanwhile, let's uh, start off today's show with a brand new tune from Honest Dave. This is so new, actually. This is a draft uh, version of the song, which has specifically been recorded for this particular show um, because it's not quite been released yet. It's Honest Dave and I Am A Witch.
was Honest Dave and the draft version of I Am A Witch recorded specially for this show because it's not quite been released yet. So brilliant stuff from him. If you've never had the pleasure of seeing him perform live, I strongly recommend you do. I've seen him a few times. Amazing to watch. A little bit mysterious. Um, maybe even subliminal at times. But yeah, really great stuff. He's usually got some projector going on in the background, projecting some weird and wonderful images behind him. But yes, fantastic show he puts on so that's honest dave uh he will actually be performing soon he'll be performing at take the stage on wednesday the 3rd of april at duffy's bar uh, that's a relaunch of luke broughton's evening uh, there'll be all sorts of other musicians and other bands there so great stuff free entry duffy's bar 3rd of april 2024 i think that's going to be a monthly thing but don't quote me on it on it so yeah fantastic stuff from them okay so now it's time for the whiskey rebellion and goodwin sands come play with me on goodwin sands down in the shingle below Build a castle made of hands Where cobble flowers grow Come play with me on good sands Where many mariners abide Climb a forest made of mass And drift upon the tides Land. A bloody battleside of old. A soldier sip to those long past. A toast till times untold. To sail into sovereign rule And abject ships lie all on mine And all broken bone and jewel
That was the wonderful The Whiskey Rebellion and Goodwin Sands. They can next be seen on Saturday the 6th of April 2024 at the Sunny Sound House in Sunny Leicester. Uh, they're going to be playing with the imprints. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a fantastic gig. I got my tickets. Why don't you think about getting yours? Yeah, you know, if you fancy it. Um, but yeah, absolutely amazing band to see live. Very, very um, energetic, shall we say. Uh, yeah, very good performance they put on and really, really good stuff watching them. Okay, so let's have something a little bit different now. Uh, here's Ali Flex and his multilingual uh, friends. Ali Flex, RX Opu and Sardar Zishan. And in three languages, Tin. Jandi shash to me, I'm a niche shash kere nile on the carriva lo chilla malo jelle keno eli to be keno chole gelle ya kare ke ya ma ke hazar costo de ar borro valo bashi tu ma ke mo ne ripin jorai pusha raksa ekta mo ina ashe shomai kharra boila amar shate kota koi na bangla basha marti basha songi the decoron rap rido man poetry hip hop amoron gan bangla the hoy bangla hoy bangla the kine mo the hoy din e din e ayu ko me shomai hule jai the hoy din din bakwa ne rak bak marti probu bok to manush khati ne shay shok to bojana mo n boka bak. Sharakon, Manu Sorbo Sasto Amra Barre Barre Bulejai, Balaman Chardam, Nayar Modu Toya Bishkai, Mazra de Gan, Liki Sokenaga Guma Mar, Sokolo Tarkuda Mone Buja Meshe Mona Mar. Emone Vic, Keho Jane Menu Shock, Murder Pass, Safer Chai, Kim Kimi Hass. Sal jari ya sirap galani kar de bro Ripper janding Pakistan desi hip hop na grow Bohu saare loog kab bheje mujhe pyaar Bohu saare pila waja khate mujhe khaar Bohu saare ya ke mujhe bro bro bolte hain Bohu saare jalat par nil sate kun chun kaart Bhai ya ka chill pure scene pe ya nazar Koon kitne paani mein ya sab ke mujhe khabar Kisi hasal asli aur koon koon fake hai Sab ka mujhe pata hai ke koon kitna nek hai Bila waja pange to pe ronge chute dange Sanu ni pasand ke ke fal to chuk hange जान भी आते हैं जब कोई प्यार ना लो मंगे बैरी आंधे बैरी ते यार आंधे ये सी चंगे आ ये ये इस फ्लेक्सर आई बैक रिच टू अटैक यो ओके ओके आप बंदे नहीं पिक इराते हैं नेक हम स्टूडियो पे चेक सिर्फ तेरी वन टेक मैं सब पिक तमाशा पिक गली के कुत्तेस माथा टेक जस्ट गेट आउट माय केस आई स्पिट ऑन योर फेस जस्ट मूव आउट द वे ओ यो I'm so multilingual. I'm just like Santa. I like to jingle the dizzy flight chicks. Want to mingle a sparkle of the lives with a twinkle. RX Popu, Bangladeshi Arn Shan, Sardar Zishan, Pakistan ki Arn Bar. Ham team boys, rap ke trooper tan, rap karte rehenge jab tak hai jaan. Little cool soldiers, we not to drop fiend. That's why the track is called. That was the amazing Ali Flex, RX Opu and Sardar Zishan and Tin. Brilliant stuff there. Uh, Ali Flex, of course, is a British rapper with Bangladeshi origin. Um, yeah, so fantastic stuff from him. Okay, so now it's time for this week's interview where I'm chatting to local ethical rapper Gorilla Nature. Uh, but first of all, here's one of his songs uh, with Calvin Jeffries and Strong. Hey, 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 hey,
I split most of my time between committing petty crimes and constructing clever rhymes designed to blow your mind. Legality is not synonymous with morality. The way I see, the way I earn my salary is fine. The victimless violations I perpetrate are merely stitches on the scars of a world of hate. Rising murder rate, I'm internationally not involved, not irrationally, fashionably going for gold. I never sold out once. Anyone who says I did is full of it. 21, I started writing late but never quit. Ever hit big believe I won't kick back till I smash it even if I don't I'll still hash tracks together still stash sacks a feather like frosty buds of bum funk never crack in the backpack or trunk I'm a UK geezer so I should say boot either way we stay away from smack to smoke or shoot we're too strong for them they don't know how we're rolling we're too strong for them they don't know how we do we're too strong for them they don't know what we're holding too strong for them. Let me ask you, do you? Let me ask you, do you? I've spent so long rapping for free Had ex-friends and girlfriends laughing at me Be mapping the streets, always packing the weed For years dealt with so much hassle and beef Being driven to considering strapping with heat Never needed to yet, I just baffle the chiefs Whether dealing with creeps or when I tackle police In the past lost my rag and had to smack a PC These days I'm getting taught to hack a PC Never been a thief trying to jack a TV Plus I'm learning craft out of Makala B I was in the studio sitting with the screen And I'm not going back to just wrapping up neat Little packs of that old crack black in the green For the fiends feeling like I'm putting cracks in their dreams Now it's time to elevate, start smashing the scene We're too strong for them, they don't know how we're rolling We're too strong for them, they don't know how we do We're too strong for them, they don't know what we're holding for them, let me ask you, do you? Let me ask you, do you? Though I walk in darkness, yes, you know, inside is where we find the light. And the love inside you is what you have to use and try. Come and win the fight. So when they try to stop you, yes, you know, say that they're gonna find it all. Cause I love and guidance and strength and protection, yo. They get it from the God. Too strong for them. They don't know how we're rolling Too strong for them They don't know how we do Too strong for them They don't know what we're holding Too strong for them Let me ask you, do you? Let me ask you, do you? But let me ask you, do you? But let me ask you, do you? Let me ask you, do you? Well, let me ask you, do Well, let me ask you, do you Well, let me ask you, do you Well, let me ask you, do you That was Strong by Gorilla Nature and Calvin Jeffries. And today's special interview is with Gorilla Nature from, I was going to say from the band. Actually, right, so Gorilla Nature. I'll call you Gorilla for the purposes of this interview. Is that okay? That's great. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> That's quite all right. Excellent. Thank you very much for coming on uh, my little show today on Live, Local and Loud. Um, but we've also got a couple of your accompaniments. We've got David and Alex here as well. Hello there, guys. 
Hi. Hello, Devin. Hello there. Hello there. And thank you all so much for joining with me today on my little show. Thank you. So now, have I got this right? Gorilla. Now, you perform on your own as Gorilla Nature and as part of the band Go- Nature and the Beasts. Is that correct? Yeah, correct. So Gorilla Nature is the is the sort of performance moniker as a lyricist. And that has a history with uh, uh, in the Leicester scene with Molester Gritty Committee and stuff. But Alex and David are actually um, both multi instrumentalists, and they're both really, really talented blokes. And I'm I'm very lucky that I now get to play with them. So they're um, uh, we play we play together. Uh, they're definitely, and I'm not trying to correct you here, but just from our perspective, it's very much a collaborative thing. It's not like they're my band. You know what I mean? They're without them, I would not feel quite as involved in music as I do because we've previously although the guy who was making the beats for the the Gorilla Nature stuff is a very talented musician we didn't often play with live instruments and I really feel like that's important if you you all right so you're part of a collaboration as well as you do stuff on your own then is that correct yeah that's it yeah yeah so if it's all right so let's chat a little bit about Gorilla first um and, yeah, and what sure. and what makes you what makes you tick so Gorilla how now you do I love your style of music it's a sort of gentle rap you always have going there with some nice uh nice melodic music going in the background it's not your typical it's not your typical rapping so how, how did that start how did it begin with you well uh in a lot of ways I came out of a sort of a love of uh of hip-hop in general um I, I really I really appreciated uh sort of mid 90s hip hop uh, like and late 90s like a uh, Talib Kweli um and Biggie Smalls and uh, a lot of the stuff from Britain around then still had a the, still had rappers in that sounded like they were trying to be American oh. and by the time I got into rapping I had a lot of American influences but by then we had sort of roots maneuver and uh the streets and lots of newer influences you know, yeah. chest, that kind of thing, where um, it was still in keeping with a lot of the the, the hip hop sound, but people had developed the lyrical um, content a little bit more. So that's that's kind of where I came in early early to mid two thousands, um, starting to write because I felt like a lot of the content I'd heard over the years had, had been improving, and then there seemed to be this sort of expanding yeah. field of just nonsense, and I I wanted to contribute to the sort of conscious side of it, you know? And I don't mean in disrespect to anyone. I mean, you know, lyricism and, and you know, rap is rhythm and poetry or rhyme and poetry. So if somebody's flowing and, and, the, and it sounds great, then it's not up to me what they get to talk about but I just feel like if if I want to contribute lyrics to music then I want it to have meaning behind it so that's where the that's where the sort of style comes from okay yeah you you mentioned the streets there yes I can see that now sort of rapping oh okay so would you call yourself uh, an ethical rapper then that that would be a word I was I was really um I was really surprised to hear you use the word gentle because that's not something that most people would use but yeah ethical and and I agree with you I I feel like it's a lot more gentle than a lot of rappers out there but ethical yeah a conscientious rap maybe or I mean you know one hesitates to use this term now but maybe even woke if Mm. if we if we mean that word in a certain way not in the way it's been appropriated by certain political forces but that's a whole other conversation remind me i forget being of the generation that i am i forget what what what's woke all about again just briefly well that's interesting because now it seems to be much more uh but it's as stephen fry would say it's usage that is is the ultimate arbiter right so if people are using it in a certain way then um, that's what it means. But when I first came across the term woke, it meant somebody who was aware that we as as a species might not be doing ourselves a lot of favor, favors and was intent on um, developing a new way of, of, of what we would call being in the world, or a new way of seeing things and behaving and new ha- building new habits that are more sustainable and more inclusive. That To me, that's what woke meant. And now um, it's been appropriated to mean anybody who has a sort of Karen episode over something they don't like, which is a complete misrepresentation of the intention behind the term as, as I was as I was introduced to it. So maybe the people who I first met who were using that word were themselves using it in a way that was inappropriate. But it, it seems to have been it seems to have been turned from the way they were using it into a sort of a political tool, which is 
often what happens with words, isn't it? Crikey, yes, yeah, absolutely. Mm. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So the reason you became, uh, started to become a rapper is because you 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 wanted to get a message across, is that right? And yeah, I feel like um, I was, I was I, I've been called argumentative and uh, all sorts of other things, you know, which is fair because I kind of, that's, that's, that's a fair assessment. So rather than, rather than getting into disagreements with people about things that I felt strongly about, I, I tried to write about them in a, in a cathartic way where I would be able to explain to myself better what I meant and also do something creative and productive and hopefully um, progressive with all these crazy thoughts that I always have. <laughs> oh, so now, okay, so we've just played uh, Strong um, with Calvin, the great Calvin Jeffries. Um, so what was that about then? Um, well, that was that was kind of, it's, it's one of the verses from Strong is actually originally on an older track that was never really released. So it was recorded and we never really did anything with it. And that was with the MGC crew, uh, which was that was Molester Gritty Committee. Then they're, they're sort of disbanded now. But um, I'd, I'd known Calvin for a long time and I'd always, always appreciated his style and his voice and uh, his perspective. And um, I've got a lot of love for Calvin. So hmm. I was I went away for a while. I came back and we bumped into each other and I, I'd had this idea in my head for a long time of a, a, an idea for a song that I wanted to make with him and we spoke about it and it just came from there really he was he'd had a bit of a hiatus from music I'd had a really long hiatus from music and the and the song's really about um exactly what we were just saying or exactly what I was just trying to explain about why I write which is to learn you know to to um distill the things that I'm thinking from this sort of cloud of hazy considerations and, and contemplations into something that makes some sort of sense so um the way we the way we you know we, we we experience life and life makes us stronger if we let it if we experience it and allow ourselves to develop and if we don't then we can inhibit that development and not not feel strong and and therefore not feel like we want to engage with the world so um i think calvin's verse is looking at it from a sort of take finding your inner strength from a religious or spiritual perspective and I was kind of working up towards a spiritual perspective with the lyrics that I was writing. So it all kind of fitted together like that. So, so let's talk about uh, performances now then. Um, so are you, are you more of a performing artist or a recording artist? Um, well, you know, recording is uh, something that I like to do and that we need to do because we need to have things to show people. But um the, the, I feel like if you if you're not in, if you're not doing it live, then uh, I kind of don't see the point. So it's it's great to it's great to go and record, and obviously people need to hear what you're doing without having to go to pay to a show that so that they know that your show is worth going to. But ultimately, especially these days, if you want to um, if you want to sustain yourself with what you're doing, as in be able to pay your bills by doing your creative work, then you have to find the best way to to allow money to come in from that right and and really ultimately the live shows are really important for that because everything's spotify and streamed and whatnot these days but yeah, sure. um, in terms of just preference for what i enjoy doing you know the live performance is a completely different thing from the recording because you're connecting with i mean it's great to be in a studio connecting with the engineer and with the other musicians but when you go to a place where people have come to listen to your music or just happen to be there and, and happen to enjoy it it brings that extra depth and breadth of connection with people, which, you know, for me, if we're going to write lyrics that mean something, then what's the point unless we're going to share the meaning, right? Yeah. So, absolutely. yeah, the live performance is sort of, as they say, where it's at. But yeah, the, the recording is an enjoyable process and and it's um, and it's lovely to have a, a recording of something that's really clean and say, oh, that's, that's how that's supposed to sound or that's how that sounded when we first did it, even if it's developed since then. It's right. nice to have that reference point, yeah. yeah. But, but yeah, live performance for me is the best. I've, I've, I haven't seen you perform many times, but I, I do remember seeing you perform at The Musician a good few months ago. It's one of the performances that stands out of my mind in of last year's uh, live performances that I've been to. You know, you, you, you do. You, you In the audience, you feel a connection with yourself. Oh. And plus, as I say, the, the lovely undertones of the melodic music and stuff and, and the words and you can see that you really mean it as well. Like you can really, you, you can feel that as a member of the audience. So well, I felt it's that. quite a special thing, to be honest. Um, that's a beautiful thing to hear, man. Thank you so much. That's that's why we, that's one of the best things, the best motivations 
to go out and do it again is to hear things like that. Absolutely. Um, I presume you're not a full time performer, though, are you? No, at the minute, not. A, I'm not. Unfortunately, I would like to be, but again, you know, you've got to be in a position where people know enough about who you are and what you do that they realise that you're worth paying for. And yeah. we haven't we haven't established that much reach yet. But fortunately, we've got people helping us out, putting us on nice radio shows, and getting the word out there. So also the guy that we've been recording with. Um, He's got some connections in the industry. I'm going to a meeting on Friday with a guy who's setting up a promotions company. Oh. Um, so, yeah, there's lots of stuff going on. It's all bubbling under the surface. So yeah. at the minute, I'm studying a master's in transpersonal psychology and I'm still uh, right. working as a personal trainer when I can. I've not, I've, again, I've not got a lot of clients at the oh, minute. Right. But, yeah, I was um, going to say, your, your Facebook page says you're a wordsmith, writer, author, poet, performer, linguist, activist, entrepreneur, yeah. creator, philosopher but doesn't say anything yeah. about a rapper <laughs> uh, well lyricist is in there isn't it or wordsmith i think i, I yeah I wordsmith rapper to come under wordsmith yeah wordsmith's like a catch-all really because there were articles so i might go on a protest and then write an article about it or i might um oh, study a, a field yeah. of a field of interest and then write something related to it so um yeah I'm, I'm just developing creative skills the thing is if i wanted to go to a say a marketing agency and and I, I am in the process of doing this with some companies you know i don't mind admitting that i am looking for paid work you know that's something we all have to do right we have to get paid yeah. so if the if if i'm not getting paid thousands of pounds for gigs and got a steady money money revenue off music then i have to fill the gap right so um yeah I, you know if i go to a marketing company and persuade them that i can write their advertising stuff for them then they'll pay me to write it but that won't be me writing that will be the voice that they want to be yes. writing the stuff that they yeah. want okay. so we're going to play another one of your songs in a minute. It's Gorilla Nature and Mary Sing. Oh, by the way, how did how did just briefly how did the name Gorilla Nature come about? Oh, that's um, I'll keep it as brief as possible. You can tell I'm not great at brevity, right? Um, <laughs> within within us all is the capacity to behave beautifully or to behave terribly. I would suggest, and um, I I am of an opinion that aligns much with what uh, there's a guy called Lao Tzu who wrote a book called The Tao Te Ching, and he basically said the more or in the book, it says the more rules you give people, the more you impose expectations on people, the more unruly they'll become. So to me, we all have a guerrilla nature in us. We all have this idea that if somebody tries to force you into a spot, there'll be part of you that wants to resist that. Mm -hmm. And if we ignore that, then we become victims. And um, I just felt like that was a really important concept. And that's why you use that name. Excellent. OK, all right. Lots, lots more to it than that. But that's a really concise, as concise as I can make it explanation. <laughs> Thanks for that. Okay, <laughs> then. So, okay, so let's play Gorilla Nature and Mary Singer. Who will buy? Who will buy this wonderful morning? I'm so high, I swear I could fly. Who will tie up in a ribbon and put in a box Who would dare to even try? Those who care know that they could never buy the air that we breathe So why does the planet cry? Plants and animals prematurely die For you and I to keep what we think we need Convinced by cheap marketing schemes Can see through ego-driven desires Inspired by the greed of the allegedly pious Hired by each of us unwittingly We stand by while our habitat bleeds Wasting so much that we can't even see the trees For the flames that burn ever higher Supporting the fame-driven culture we're caught in Vultures reporting only to fiendish liars of identity none of us are free whilst we're slaves to money so the liberty is fake it's not what we've got it's what we take and humility is what we break it would be an insult to snakes to compare who's aware it's funny but it's not we've paid paradise and what have we got just another parking lot it must be time to stop look listen as the sun glistens flip the script before it gets so hot we make hell on earth we could create heaven but the time to decide is the present 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 2 the plot or what you've got can't be long until our chance is gone. Keep the sky. 
So that was Gorilla Nature and Mary Singer, who will buy. And this week's extra special guest is Gorilla Nature here and a couple of members from his band. So, right. So, guys, let's talk about let's talk about nature and the beasts. Now, yeah. oh, I was going to say, Gorilla, do you prefer performing alone or do you prefer being in, in your collaboration? Vastly, vastly prefer being with the lads, with the chaps, with, with nature and the beasts. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's, yeah. Mu- live musical accompaniment is, um, is to me, hands down beats any pre-recording you could ever do. And David and Alex are amazing. So, yeah, I love playing with them. So if it's a collaboration, does that mean other people can come and go? Well... They have done. There was there were yeah, but the idea is that it's not just it's not just me. Is is when I say it's a collaboration, I just mean it involves other people. But David and Alex are constant, consistent, always there. Um and other people are welcome to come and go if they wanna if they wanna be a committed part of the band and we might have a sort of a collective freestyling thing going on at some point, but nature in the beast itself will remain the core and oh. we might add one more so guys now all three of you so um do you have do you all have time to go to gigs yourselves and if so have you got any favorites favorite bands or rappers i, I do a lot more playing than watching we do a monthly irish gig at duffy's bar oh right sort of open jam sessions uh is, is that their um, uh their crake they do yeah we, we've got the best crake in leicester by far, I'm the best Guinness. Oh, so that's the last Friday of every month, and then um, I, I, I want to be a folk singer on the side, and with the band as well. It's, it adds up; that it takes a lot of evenings. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine because um, yeah, I went to one of those cracks actually. They're really, really good. They start uh, after about eleven o'clock or something. Close the doors, and it was all brilliant. Yeah, it's a great night. And you know, just sorry, I know, I know, I don't want to take too much time talking, but while we're mentioning other other acts who are worth going to see, um, in case it doesn't come up again, I just like to mention a couple of people, if that's okay. Yeah. Um, there's a guy called Jack Simpson who is, uh, I think, I think he's playing Polonaise this Saturday. Don't quote me on it. But there's oh. Rhett Barrow who puts on a lot of the nights that we've played at and does a lot for the music, Le- the Leicester music scene. There's Chloe Lorenzen, who's going to be at the Western on the 5th of April. If anybody's in or near Leicester on the 5th of April, um, Chloe Lorenzen is a phenom. If you've not heard her, she is unbelievable. Singer, songwriter, does all her own stuff, plays a guitar. She's fantastic. Um, Nush Turner is playing this Wednesday at the Western. And this coming Sunday at the Crafty Dog is another brilliant band called Billow Booker's. Highly recommend going to see Nush. She writes her own songs. She's brilliant. And also, so are Billow Booker, Bill Booker. So there's just a few, just a few. There's also Tao Retta from Leicester, who don't play that much at the moment. I think they're busy recording and stuff. But um, they're another hip-hop outfit who have a very... Uh, a very unique style and uh, they're well, well worth checking out all right guys so now you've got an ep coming up is that correct as nature and the beasts yes yeah um really proud of what we've got so far um probably one more day and i'll be ready excellent and so uh can you tell us about the the songs on it is is it like a concept thing um how long did the songs take to write etc go on lads help me out here well, well the songs um, it, it was quite a late decision which songs were going on there. We've got so much material at the minute, at the minute that's not recorded. It was just sort of picking the best four to go with. Um, and the concept is quite cool because we, we've uh, all of the songs are at the same tempo. They're all at 104 beats per minute. Ah. Oh. Um, so, so the EP will be called 104. Oh, wow. So does that mean then to play it all the way through? It, it sort of sounds quite contiguous. It, it almost could be a long song, couldn't it? You would the think song. so, but that's really not the case. There's a very, right. okay. very wide selection, actually. But if it's, you've uh, got... it's, it'll be good. We're very proud of it so far. If you've got so many songs written, why did you only take, select a few to make an EP? Why didn't you just do an LP? Cash. <laughs> 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 Oh. Yeah, uh, we've got probably about three hours worth of playable material with, in the group. Um, oh, okay. And yeah, need to start making a tad of money so that we can pump more into recording more. Um, so oh, I think okay. what we've tried to do with this is encapsulate a lot of what we're capable of doing into one mm-hmm. thing so we can show it to others and sort of then do the stepping stones right of... yeah have you, well talking about have you have you got a plan where would you like to be in in one or five years time 
Um, I think we're all in agreement on wanting it to progress. We realise that it's a competitive, um, it's a competitive field. I don't want to call it a market. I don't want to call it an industry because I feel like that's disrespecting it. It's a competitive thing in that there are lots of people who feel that what they're making is worthy of attention and who are we to say that what we're we're making is worth more but um we we feel that what we're doing is different and uh we we feel like we do deserve to go somewhere with it if anybody does and there are lots of other people who would be just as mm. deserving we're not saying anything like that but yeah I, I i see us being able to get somewhere with it that obviously depends on the old it's not what you know, it's who you know. And if, if you're in the right time and the right place, et cetera, et cetera. But we're, we're open to offers, you know, we're, we're, we're ready for it if, okay. if the opportunity comes, yeah. So the way you hope to make that happen then is more more about networking and just get, getting the name out there, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, we could we could go to record labels and say, look, we've made this, but we'll do whatever you want us to do as long as you'll sell our records. But that's what we would generally regard as, uh, you know, for want of a more eloquent phrase it is selling out and it's not it's not really what we do we make what we make because we feel it like you said you know you can tell that we mean it and if we weren't doing it from a genuine and authentic place then that wouldn't carry anymore and it would feel false and shallow and superficial and we just wouldn't do that okay we're gonna have to wrap up shortly um first of all we're gonna play uh the nut the next one of your songs soon um but before we do how do people follow you ah okay so i'm actually there should be an instagram page but i haven't set it up yet so there is a there is a a a facebook page for nature and the beasts which is our sort of main social media thing for now until we get it all instagrams and stuff set up yeah. Um, but uh, there is a website. It's gorillanature.com. That's G U E R R I L L A, and then you spell nature.com. And on there, there's a Nature and the Beasts page, which gives you a little bio. And Gorilla Nature stuff's also available on Spotify and Bandcamp and stuff. But obviously, once this EP is finished, then we look at how we get that out there, and then we'll have a bit more of a presence. Yeah. There are YouTube videos of us as well to performing live on again on the Gorilla Nature channel just because I had it all set up for that anyway. Brilliant. Am I right in thinking people can come and see you perform every now and then at the Crafty Dog in Braunston Gate? Sorry, yeah, you said that. Yes, we actually we played there last night. Funnily enough, oh, um, yeah, we had a great night. It's a, it's a brilliant venue, really lovely crowd. Um, so yeah, we did an acoustic set, very much like what you you witnessed us do at um the musician last year okay. yeah uh, so yeah and i th- uh, we had a little chat with the guy who's the guys who run the um wednesday open mic night at the western and they've in- they've 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 asked us they've invited us to come back so um we'll, we'll, we'll be playing there at some point in the not too distant future but just like you were just saying is kind of having a plan towards changing how things work and and progressing is we we love to play with our friends at the open mic nights and stuff so we'll we'll do that but we are now getting to the point where we want to not do too much of that because if people can come and see us every week for free then ha- who's going to want to come and you know what i mean there's That's no, no yes. one's pay for yeah. the ticket. So, so we'll we'll do the things with our friends and keep ourselves in the loop but we're also we've got one foot in moving on as well in, in some ways you know okay brilliant all right then so we're going to finish off now with nature and the beasts and zachariah um now you've got 30 seconds would you like to tell us um i'm i'm well, give us how, how did the inspiration come to you? What's it about? OK, uh, I'm going to take this one. Sorry, because it's personal. So um, the, Zach, the name of the track, Zach, Zachariah, is a word, a name we used to use for my brother, Zach, who was killed a couple of years ago. And it was sudden and unexpected. And it left a lot of devastation in its wake. And this is um, it started with me having a conversation with him while he was still alive. Uh, at 20 minutes to midnight on New Year's before 2022, which is why the first lyric is it's 22-2022, or it's about 22-2022. But then he died before I finished writing it. So then um, that's it was for him before he died, because we hadn't spoken for 10 years. And then while I was writing it, he died. So I made it into what it is, or we made it into what it is. Wow. Okay. I'm so yeah. sorry to hear that. So... Thank you. Okay. Okay. So here's Zachariah, Nature and the Beasts. It 
miss about 22, 2022 Highlight of 21 which was squeezed through Might have been speaking with you this afternoon One was not prepared to but was glad for the offer of a truce It takes two and I knew that you were been suffering too Being tough was something that we both felt we had to do But a decade stupidly stubborn Truly we're brothers Even if the bloodshed is only on our mother's side And you were 49 at the same time as I was 35 We were tight until we gave way to pride It feels so nice to set our differences aside Mum is so delighted to be advised That we reconcile, reunited See you in the new year, Isaiah Zachariah We know why we both empathise With the plight of pariahs Been holding on to a few fears Still occasionally crying a few tears Do or do not do, there is no try Yo, that's truth if it ever flies by years Project to work, go delay on But you don't wear a parachute for smoking out the window The truth is the chance of recovery is zero You knew we loved you But we know we have to let you go yeah, we know we have to let you go Time flies by like the planes that we jump from We both continue to hide the pain that we run from But that does not explain why we're three months gone by Since the conversation that put things right Mobile lights up, call from mum Something awful has befallen the older of our other two sons It could easily have been either one Or equally the one rapping this song Only a week or so since we spoke on the phone Cracking jokes, philosophising or having a moan Hard to believe it's the last day That if we ever see each other again It'll have to be on the other side Felt it when grandfathers and grandmothers died But this time the waves inside don't gently slide This feels more like a riptide Cut your toe or go to lay over you don't wear a parachute for smoking out the window The truth is the chance of recovery is zero You knew we loved you but we know we have to let you go Yeah we know we have to let you go The pain subsides as the sun declines over the horizon of your life And the realisation that never again will we look into one another's eyes Looms like the darkness of the night, here's hoping the moon can shine sufficient light And the tunes we liked will provide vibrational reminders To remind us of the times that in our usual perception The time are behind us but still bind us If we never hide then it's easy for the memories to find us The energy you blessed us with disseminated here amongst those who held you dear Not in denial of your flaws or mine but you're in the mind of thoughts and the heart as a seer and a seer Although this hurt is hardcore Until we're together once more We'll endure through these fly-by years Cut your toe or go to lay But you don't wear a parachute For smoking out the window The truth is the chance of recovery is zero You knew we loved you But we know we have to let you go Cut your toe or go to lay But you don't wear a parachute For smoking out the window The truth is the chance of recovery is zero You knew we loved you But we know we have to let you go yeah, we know we have to let you go. Ready, bro!
was me chatting to the wonderful Gorilla Nature and a couple of his band members. Uh, yeah, great stuff from them. Okay, so the last song on the last show on Hermitage FM is going to be Blitz Vega and LA Vampire. <laughs> was the wonderful Blitz Vega and LA Vampire which was Andy Rourke's last band that he was in from the Smiths um, and it also features Cav as well from the Happy Mondays um, who also comes from Leicester so yeah great stuff from then great way to finish the last show don't forget if you want to uh, follow live local and loud see what I'm up to in the future any new radio shows or podcasts or anything I release uh, if you just want to like our page on Facebook, Live Local Loud and the number one. That brings us to the end of the very last Live Local and Loud with me, Kevin Gorn. I hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you all very much for tuning in, listening and your support. I much appreciate it and I do advise you to try and get down to some local music soon because the scene needs you. If you'd like to see uh, what's going, what music is going down locally, check out our handy gig guide in musicinleicester.co.uk. Also, if you want to listen to any previous live, local and louds uh, and the interviews therein, check out our handy playlist on Music and Leicester, www.musicandleicester.co.uk. There's a handy playlist on the right-hand side. And remember to like our Facebook page, Live Local Loud. So thank you very much for tuning in. Don't forget to support, support live, local music. That's me signing off over and out. <laughs>